Greetings. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I am Mama Kira, but on this platform, I go by Curative Talks. And today, I'm actually going to be revisiting a topic I started this channel with. If you were to go back and look at my first video I ever posted, I had this huge topic, um, the real versus the fake. And so at a time, I'll give you a little backstory. At the time I was, I had an epiphany, you know, this was the peak of my spiritual journey. And I was just, it was like the mask was removed. You know how in the society today, you know, everybody's like, oh, you're either woke or you're not woke. Well, at that time, I literally like that's that was like before, you know, it became like a clout. You know what I'm saying? Like it became a whole social media thing. No, for real, though, it was really about waking up and like taking the mask off, you know, fuck it, mask off. Right. I'm taking my mask off and I'm seeing the world for what it really is, for what it truly is without these um shades that have been placed on me since i was like um in age enough to conform to society's needs and wants and desires you know like i took those shades off i removed that mask and i saw what was real versus what was fake and so today it is um it's like deja vu today we're in a time for me of deja vu where i where i've realized i made this prediction you know years ago right that real versus fake you know idea and today we are literally living in the real versus fake we're constantly having to battle whether or not someone is real versus fake now it's more superficial you know i'm sure i'm going to touch a lot of people when i say this how many of you have a social media account out there where someone is trying to be you where there are so many fake pages of you and people have messaged you and told you oh i this fake page, oh, this fake page. And you're like, yeah, I know. There's so many, just ignore them. You know who the real one is versus the fake. How many of you are experiencing that? I know I'm touching some people right now, okay? So I made this, this epiphany. I had this epiphany years ago, right? And I made this analogy of life and that eventually people were gonna start removing, you know, the mask and seeing what life really is real versus fake now it's just being shown in so many different ways but it hit me today that it's so hard to be real these days that the fake is, is becoming the real it's like reverse you know the mission has been reversed right they realize oh people are waking up people are woke now so let's push so much of the fake that it looks real <laughs> and it's over you know it's overshadowing the real of the real do y'all get me here do y'all get me here because the agenda was never for us to wake up the agenda was for us to always be asleep and so now that that they put us to sleep they want us to wake up did you get that now that they put us to sleep, they want us to wake up. So what we have to do as a collective, now that we we figured it out, right? We're about to get get re um, reprocess is what's coming to mind, right? Just like in a in a simulation, you know. Okay, you've made it through. The rat has made it through the simulation, but now, now the trick is now that you've learned what we wanted you to learn, we're gonna flip it in reverse. Flip it and reverse. <laughs> Flip it and reverse. <laughs> Is that Missy Elliott song that just dropped? Where she does that reverb? Flip it and reverse. How many remixes have been dropped? We give it to you straight and then we're going to remix it. It's really just life playing itself out. But, but what I find so deja vu about this moment is I saw it with my own eyes. It is happening. This is what I saw. This is what I was referring to. The real versus the fake. Because at that point in my life, wasn't that many people woke. Everybody was still sleeping, you know? So it was like only a select few had been handpicked to wake up to see the sleeping. 
You feel me? And so now that everybody is woke, aha, everybody's woke from a sleep that we, we put in place for you to be sleeping, you know, because this is the simulation. Now that you're woke, don't you think we made you woke? Don't you think this is a part of our plan? Now, I, I, I'm, I'm just speaking from the man, okay? I'm not speaking for myself. This is a straight observational point of view, okay? This is not how I feel. I don't I don't desire to play anybody and, and make you think you're doing something, but what you're really doing is doing exactly what I desire you to do, ha ha. You know? <laughs> but it's just funny. So, well, I guess what I'm here to say is don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the clout. What is a trend is always a trend. You may think you're doing good, but who are you doing good for? Mm -hmm. What is your why? Mm -hmm. And that's how you distinguish yourself from now, the fake versus the real. Because in a sea of fake that look just like the real, how do you know who is the real? When they all put on the face of the real, how do you know which one of the real is the real? So let's take another example because I feel like I lost a little bit of you when I started rambling. rambling. So let's take another example. You have this spiritual guru, okay? Let's take Dr. Sebi. You have this spiritual, you know, guru basically, Dr. Sebi. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, Dr. Sebi's message gets out there finally because it's been getting to people but it just gets out there finally as a as a mass right um, a mass production of information from the spiritual guru dr sebi the doctor sebi the doctor sebi right so his message finally spreads across the globe across the globe okay across this huge flat surface right and then all of a sudden there are so many dr sebis everybody's a dr sebi Mm -hmm. And everybody's believing the Dr. Sebi is because of Dr. Sebi, the Dr. Sebi is the real Dr. Sebi, right? So you just put Dr. Sebi on something, guess what? All of Dr. Sebi's followers, all the sheep that have been, you know, herded, they're gonna listen to Dr. Sebi. But what if in the midst of the real Dr. Sebi are fake Dr. Sebi's? Mm hmm. And so information gets uh, misspread, misinterpreted. It becomes an ill intention. And then there is dis-ease in the flow of life. Because there are too many fakes versus the real. And y'all not woke enough for that. I'm going to just say it. It took y'all 10 plus years to get here. And I feel like you're still lost. Because what you are seeing is not what mask off is. What you are seeing is what mask on, mask on is. They, they just gave you a different mask. <laughs> Does anybody remember the pandemic? Hmm. And everybody walked around wearing masks? Hmm. For a disease that they could not see, nor could they prove on their own. Hmm. And then people even started uh, looking different. <laughs> looking the same, almost. I, I believe I was watching this comedian, uh, I think it was Matt Matt Reif or Matt Riff. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, but he said that he was he was making a joke about having the mask on, you know, you know, you really didn't know what anybody looked like. All you could see with their eyes and he could and he passed the joke like he, he was like, I could pass as a woman or something with his eyes, you know. That that type of mask. So instead of it covering your eyes, now it's covering your mouth, your throat chakra, your your voice from speaking the truth so that you could say, oh, hey, I'm actually the real Dr. Sebi. Oh, no, 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 I'm the doctor. No, no, I'm the Dr. Sebi. Do you, you guys getting what I'm putting down here? Because this has all been shown to me today. Like, as I'm speaking right now, it's really just making sense how 
how big of a facade we live in, how the real versus the fake is an everyday thing and how the game can be flipped and reversed to make you think you've made a change, but really they just change you. They just changed you. Excuse me. Look at all the things that are playing out in this world today, in the world that we live in today. Look at all of the things that are playing out. Okay, we have a we have a war on on pronouns. Okay, and then we have a war on gender. Okay, and then we have a war on sexuality. Okay, so we got three wars going on. Three. Okay. We are in the year two thousand and twenty-three. Okay, so so we got three wars going on in the year 2023, okay? Three plus three is six, okay? But we are in the year seven. So all of these things in the six, okay? Three wars in 2023, but we are in year seven, but we still acting like we in year six? It carried itself over. We're not done. But that's exactly the point because... As we battle ourselves with something outside of ourselves, it leaves more room for the real versus the fake to come in. Because think about it. Not knowing your sexuality, not knowing your gender, and not knowing your pronoun is a self-identity crisis. It's a self identity crisis you don't know what you like you don't know who you are <laughs> okay and you don't know what they should call you that's a self-identity crisis and this year is the year of self of being selfish okay so if you're in the year seven which is this year Two plus two plus three. Two plus zero plus two plus three is seven, okay? If you're in the year of seven, which is the selfish year, and you're stuck in the three wars that we have going on, which equivalates to self-identity crisis, how are you real? Wouldn't we all think you're fake? I mean, no, for real, if we, if we literally like, if we, if we add it up here, if we add it up here, because someone real knows who they are, right? When you take your mask off and you're no longer a, a, a piece of paper with check boxes on it and you don't have to check the box, when you, when you just wake up and realize that, you know, you're in this body and you're in this life form and you can move this body in this life form and you can move it how you please in this life form, right? You know who you are, okay? You know who they should call you, right? And you know who you like. You know what you like and you know what you want, right? That's a real person. That's a person that took the mask off 10 years ago, okay? But the fake person is the person that is still controlled, that is unsure of themselves, doesn't know who they are, doesn't know what they like or what they want. That's the fake. And so all the fakes copy the real. Come on now, I'm bringing it back around. I know y'all getting this. All the fakes copy the real. They literally put the real's mask on their face. So all you see is the real. But what happens behind the mask hasn't changed. What is going on behind the mask has not changed. That person that's still battling that three, those three wars, they're going to still battle those three wars even if you put the seven on their face. Even because remember, we're in year 2023. Three, three, three wars. Don't matter if you if you stamp this this selfishness, you know, face on them, this this real face on the fake, they're going to still be battling. Still be battling. So now all they're doing is they're portraying their message, not the real person's message. No, 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 because it's just a mask. Remember, remember, it's just a mask. So they're going to be giving their message. 
their their feelings right from a source of um indecisiveness and um and a self-crisis identity right with your face on so that's where the misinformation comes in that's where the misrepresentation comes in because they wear in your face but they still got their own message And I wrote this today. All that, all that was bullshit. All of that was bullshit. Period. Period. We are still out here in this real versus fake. And if you think you know who the real is, you better check again. You better check again. You need to watch who you speak around. Watch what you talk about. And be mindful of your business. What I used to say as a kid, go get you some. It's my business. Go get you some. <laughs> because a lot of y'all, a lot of us, a lot of we have gotten it confused because they're good at what they do. They're so good at what they do. I'm not going to get into all the conspiracy theories. This isn't the platform for that. I gave y'all the message as light as I could with as much with as much hype as I could get, as I could deliver. Look, <clears throat> spirit said, "Girl, <laughs> real versus fake." Go check out that video I posted. One of my first videos on this channel as curative talks, and I literally spoke about this moment. It's deja vu. And they still playing you, boo. <laughs> and you know, only a hit dog will holler. So if you know you're not getting played, then you ain't even got to say nothing. Because mama always said, if you know you're right, why argue? So. We got some Celine Knight. To kind of like, uh, you know. Cleanse that energy. Clear that energy is what spirit said. Clear that energy. Whoever watching right now, y'all just got cleared. So yeah, I believe that's all I have to speak on that today. I felt like creating and I and I said to myself I was gonna sit down and make a video and I knew that it was gonna be about real versus fake. So take what I said that resonates and whatever doesn't, leave it. We come in with the truth and the truth only from personal experiences from spiritual downloads. So, like I said, it's up to you. Enjoy this beautiful day. Speak your gratitude affirmations. Love on yourself. And may peace be upon you. Mwah.